hi guys and welcome to another video so in this video we are going to talk about the track bar uh in windows form so this is very interesting if you guys have a certain demand to a certain component that is pre present pre <laughs> that is available here so let's go back to toolbox i'm gonna select uh, the track bar let's see track bar track bar track bar where are you my friend oh let's see track bar uh where are you oh let's see track bar i'm not seeing where it exactly it is okay i found it so this track bar thing is very interesting to deal with an application with deals with audio something like that or even an image editor something like that so this is actually very interesting because you can actually uh, set a value to something. So in this video, we're going to talk about this. Uh, of course, we're going to have other uh, similar components. We're going to definitely talk about. So let's put this here. Okay, not nothing much more. So you could actually change the color. Let's say I want a dark red, something like that. So this is very interesting. You guys can personalize to your liking. I would like to see bluish or reddish or mangueira okay this this look this looks cool so let's execute um firstly uh so you guys can see we have this bar and i can i can actually change the value as you guys can see i can i can scroll down scroll up so there's not much to it uh unless we define some of the parameters so let's come back here and we're gonna define this dot track bar. Let's see track bar one dot I think maximum value, right? Dot maximum maximum. So you guys can see it gets us at the upper limit to the range of the so let's say I wanna a maximum value of 10. So I can only have 10 um values, possible values. You guys can see 10 values, okay. Nothing too much. I can I could define a hundred, okay. No problem. I could define a 100. It would be very interesting. I have lots of uh, values. This would be very useful for uh, a audio program, something like a audio um, normalized or uh, audio editor, something like that. To have it, to have 100. So this defines the the value. Okay. So. What we're gonna do though is, is something very interesting. Uh, let's add a other. Let's add, add other. Let me see, guys. Let me see what we to do. Let's add a button which we already saw. So we got this button here. Let's put here. Let's double click this because if we double click, we're, we're gonna have the. We're gonna have access to the main feature of this component, which is actually the the value, this scroll. Okay, so this scroll will get us the. If we do, um, let's see, int. You guys should should be familiar with uh, variables at this point. Int, um, uh, let's say scale equals this dot track bar one dot value. So value, we would turn the value, okay? And we could do something like, let me see, this dot button one dot size uh, equals new size, new size, let's see, new size, scale, scale, scale. We're gonna create this. You guys, you guys should be at least familiar with this int okay thing here we're gonna create a we are creating a variable in all scale to get the the actual value and we're gonna create we're gonna resize the button to uh, to the to the track by thing so if we do this we should you guys can see we are changing the size of the button as we change the 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 track bar value so this basically means that we can control other uh, components using this. Okay, guys. So very interesting. Um, we should see. We should have at least a 
let's say uh, default uh, value. Let's put a 10 here. Uh, let's put a uh, 50, something like that. Actually, 10 here. So let's add these two numbers. So we're going to have a default size and we're going to add that size as it goes. So we have a initial size and we can increase that. Actually, why why you having this zero? It must it must it must has a bug something like that. Okay, could we do this? This dot button one. Let's say let's say inch. Uh, initial 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 equals this dot button one dot size. Oh, that size dot. Let's get the height. Hmm. As you guys can see, we have some things to work here. Okay. Um. Let's say height equals this dot button one dot size dot height int width if width if equals this dot button one dot size dot width if. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna concatenate the two. I think he is. I need. I forgot. I think the first argument is height. Let's see. Uh, uh, width if and height. I guess you can see the the first argument to a size is width if and then height. So we're gonna do uh, width if plus scale scale and height plus scale. Okay, let's execute. We should see something very interesting. So yeah, yeah, it, it's working. Wait, wait, I can't. Oh, that's something. <laughs> we need to we need to reset reset the the size. Okay, uh, we need to reset the size. So, int uh, actually this dot but one dot size equals new size 10 10 yeah we need to do this otherwise we're gonna be overriding that that variable yeah yeah it seems to be working now so this was the video guys i hope you enjoy see you guys next time